This is exciting and also terrifying, but there's only one way to start this, so let's go. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. I think I'm just excited, but I'm also terrified because I've never done anything like this before and I'm not exactly the best at the game, but I'm really excited to try this out. I've been watching so much Vault Hunters and Ah, oh, it just looks so fun. Even the 116 version looked really fun, but it also looked a bit too hard for me, so I never tried it. But the 118 version, I mean, I've turned on casual mode because I have a grave mod in my mostly vanilla playthrough, so you probably could have guessed I was going to do casual mode. I'm really excited to try it, but oh my god, am I terrified. I've never actually played modded before. Oh god. Okay, well, here we are. Trying Vault Hunters for the first time, not terrified at all, no no, totally calm and normal. I did not mean to do that. I really need to get better at moving in F5 because I meant to jump backwards and I just jumped straight off a tree. Can you tell this playthrough is going to go well? Okay, so while I'm cooking up some food so I hopefully don't starve to death, let's talk a bit more about what's going on. I'm playing a new mod pack called Vault Hunters 118, which is essentially an ARPG take on Minecraft. Honestly, I'm not really an expert on this or anything, so if you're interested in finding out more, I recommend watching Iskal 85s video, I'll link it in the description. Vault Hunters is made by Iskal and his team, so he's really the best place to get information and knows infinitely more than I do, but essentially the aim of the pack is to complete vaults which are kind of like mini dungeons, get skills and research to unlock stuff, and eventually collect 25 artifacts to open the final vault. There's a lot more to it, but we'll go over that with time, um, but that's the basic premise. But yeah, so this is my first proper modded experience with stuff like Create and Britannia, so I'm really excited to try this out, but Fair warning, as you might have been able to tell by the fact I started this series by accidentally jumping off a tree, if you came here looking for top tier gameplay, I suggest you look elsewhere. Maybe try Pizza Hut. Ah, stick. Okay, okay. One thing achieved, I'm not going to starve to death tonight. You know, it's not going too badly. It could definitely be going worse. Let's see if we can set up a bit of a temporary base somewhere. I think I might head up this way because it looks super cool and I want to see it, and then depending on what it looks like maybe I'll be able to set up something quick on the shoreline. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that! God, I love Minecraft. I really need to stop falling off stuff. Is that a village? It's definitely something. Oh, look at this! Hello? Huh. I guess I'm not going to run out of food anytime soon. Um, <gasps> sir, you just fell down the stairs in your own house, sir. No wonder they call you a nitwit. Seriously, did you just jump down the stairs again? I'm gonna have to take you just so you don't accidentally end up killing yourself. Jesus. Um, alright? I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but four iron blocks? Okay, let's see if we can save these guys. You just got so stuck that you lost your profession. I'm almost impressed. You know what, given these villagers seem to either get stuck in water or jump down their own stairs when I'm not around, I'm going to stay here for a bit and keep an eye on them. No, it's definitely not because I want to get into the pack instead of building a base. But for real, I will still be making a base at some point, but that's going to be a little bit down the road when I can properly explore and find a really cool place to set up. Um, sir? Did, did, did you need something, sir? You're, you're just in my face. No, I don't need your trades right now. Thank you for the 
kind offer. Okay, let's get a basic setup sorted. Well, with all the help from this village, this was actually really quick. Yes? What, what would you like? Sir? I'm here as a protector of the people, sir. I mean, no harm. I'm just taking temporary refuge in this here castle. Th thank you. G good day to you, sir. Okay, he seemed to buy that, but I'll have to be careful around him in case he finds out my plans for these villagers. Well, I think we're ready to go and do some mining. Obviously, I need pretty much everything at this point, but the main things I need to get this mob pack going are vault rock and chromatic iron. So those are definitely top priority. Unfortunately, they are also found really deep down, so let's go digging. Can I just say, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm sure if you've played modded all the time, you're just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But you've got to remember, I just played vanilla, and these terrain changes are just so cool. Oh man, I love this game. Right, yeah. Let's be honest, we all saw that one coming. Oh god, baby zombie. I don't want to be a blizzard. Please. Two of them? Wait, three? Oh god. This does not bode well. I'll just take them out from back here. This is fine. This isn't terrifying at all. I'm not being chased down by multiple babies while essentially wearing paper. Oh, and there's one of those scary spawners. I I'm gonna stay away from that for now. Diamonds! Finally some good news. Ooh, more diamonds. Even more diamonds. I'm gonna be able to make a pickaxe. Ten. Nice. That, um, that all looks like certain death, so I'm, I'm just gonna go over here. Keep going. Oh god. Well, that didn't scare the absolute life out of me. Here goes nothing. Okay, um, this is dangerous. Oh, I hate poison. Damn witch. Half a heart, half a heart. You know, it's times like this when I wish I still had some arrows left. Yes, okay. Ooh, I did not die. How did I not die? Wait, wait, what? Um, okay. And now, for a round of how many times can I die before finding vault rock or chromatic iron? Get your bets in. And after four more hours of searching, finally, after all this time, is it really? Oh, okay. I, um, I'm basically directly under the house that I've been in this whole time. And I realized there was a ravine. I was like, oh, why did I go down that ravine? And I, vault stone. Well, Time to clear this out. Okay, 34 chip vault rock, that should do us for now. That's floor it. Is that Please. Oh, it was all just under my house. Okay. Well, we found it. Time to dig this out, I guess. Oh, it looks like it was quite a small vein. But at least I have some. Eleven. Eleven should do us for now. And there goes the pick. Right, so now we've made this book, we can look up some of the information, and the main thing we need to work on now is getting the Vault Crystal and the Vault Altar. So, I think I should be able to make this. And I've got enough chipped Vault Rocks to make a Vault Rock, and then I think we can get our first Vault Recipe.
So let's get that going because that is where this mod pack really starts. Okay, I think it was like this. Oh yeah, Vault Altar. Let's get this down and let's get a Vault Rock going and we'll see what on earth we need to get for our first crystal. Now that, that's doable. We found a geode when I was, you know, dying all the time. I found a geode then. I don't think I picked any up, but I can easily go get some. And then cobbled nice and easy. I've got redstone and I've got seeds. So let's get those done. Yep. So the only thing we need is the crystal, which I believe... We know where that is. Let's go get that, and this crystal will be complete. Okay, this works. It's not the geode I was going for, but it's a little bit easier to get to. And we are complete. Now the only thing we need to do is make a button and we have one vault crystal oh it's starting to get real oh boy you know what let's see what the next recipe is as well just so we know what we're dealing with okay that some that's incredibly doable. Good. We'll uh, we'll sort that one out after we've run this crystal. Talking about running this crystal though, I think I'm gonna save that for next time because, I mean, you saw I took a very long time to get all of the materials I needed and I just, you know. So we'll start the next episode off getting all geared up and making sure we're ready to go and, well, I mean, I say ready to go. We're almost definitely probably going to die in the vault. I mean, I managed to die just getting the stuff to go into the vault, and the vault's harder than the general world, but you know, we'll get ready, and we'll give it a shot. But until then, thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!